Hi friends, today I am going to discussion about the identifier. Identifier is a name. Name itself is called as identifier. Name. Uh, using that name, we can identify that it may be variable name or it may be function name, it may be that method name and it may be that class name and it may be that module name. Identifier is used to use identifier is used for that identification purpose, whether it is a variable or it is a function or is a method name or is a class name or it is a module name. I will write in the theory part. Identifier is a simply name. It is used for identification purpose. It may be it may be a variable name, variable or function or method or class or module name suppose suppose uh, syntax for defining identifier Suppose um, some name equals to John. Here, here name is that identifier or we can call as variable. Suppose it is a variable. It is a variable. Variable syntax. We can define the function. Function means def factorial factorial return some n. We are returning n. This factorial is some function name. If suppose we take the class. Class test def infinite int self class. This is a this test is a class name. If I if I write that method also in this m one self This is a method. M1 is the method. This is a method name. This is a class name. Test is a class name and M1 is a method name. One second, friends. An identifier is a simply name. Name itself is called as identifier. It is used for the identification purpose. It may be that variable name or function name it, or method name or class name or module name. I will uh, give that name. Suppose we can take that. So one example. Start of the program. Variable I, I have given that uh, student S name. Suppose we can take that S name. James. I am going to print that name. S name. Print. End of the end of the program here i am going to print one st statements like start of the program variable name and uh, printing that variable print as name and end of the program if i going to execute this one python test dot py Start of the program. We got the change. If you want, if you want to give the message also, you can give. 
student name python test.py student name james start of the program end of the program student name is james there is a some rules and regulations in defining the example one so there is a some rules are there rules are available available in the python python identifiers fires first rule is rule number 1 number 1 identifiers should contains contains only a to b a to z small a to z capital a to z 0 to 9 and underscore symbol only underscore symbol only special characters like underscore hash at the rate and star and uh, sorry not star dollar but only underscore is used in the python only underscore underscore used in the python identifiers python identifiers we will write one not we will write one some programs using that first rule first program is start of program i'm going to print some so the user to print the empty line yes already defined a s name we want to write that student name name 20 i'm writing like this or we can write that capital s Twenty uh, Smith student name is yes name twenty print end of program I am going to execute this program python test dot py student name is smith we got the smith it is a proper syntax example 2 miss of this one yes name yes 20 name uh john sun here as 20 name instead of taking last i am taking the number in the middle
save the file and execute cls python test.py we got this one also it is also proper syntax We are going to take yes underscore name. Sorry friends, I am using that uh, same name only every time for the time saving. Here I am going to take James s underscore name. Here I am going to print yes underscore name i have saved that file cls python test.py student name james it is also proper instead of proper valid valid syntax Both to example. I'm going to take underscore yes yes twenty nine student ages. I'm going to print that student age underscore yes age. CLS Python test dot py. We got student is twenty nine. This is also valid syntax. So I am going to take that. Uh, student underscore dollar underscore name we are going to take like this kiran student underscore dollar underscore name To print this one, save the file and execute Python test.py. Here we got syntax error called dollar. Syntax error is called invalid syntax. Dollar is not. We are it is showing the error mark here. Dollar. Dollar is not supported in the Python variables. Python identifiers. Invalid. Syntax. Instead of a dollar, we can take dollar instead in front of also. Suppose we take dollar in beginning. Try this. Save the file, execute CLS Python test.py. Here also not acceptable. Syntax error called invalid syntax. Dollar is not supported in, not uh, available in uh, Python identifiers. Sister. 
instead of taking this one s underscore at the rate s underscore at the rate here we can take k show student name is k show print that one cls python test py this one syntax error cannot assign an expression here may be equal to equal to instead of equal to here giving the suggestions but here that uh, meaning of this one is at the rate is not supported in python syntax invalid syntax invalid syntax next rule number 2 numbers are digits uh, digits are not or should not should not be first character first character in the identifier number or numbers or digits are should not be first character in the identifier so first character means if if you suppose you can take that uh, s name or s age s age is 29 like this or s age 1 is 20 some 26 like this but as 1 1 s age is 25 it is not valid it is valid valid syntax it is valid syntax it is not valid syntax syntax try this one and we will see Yes, underscore name underscore twenty. Low hit print. Yes, student name. Yes, name or student name. Yes, underscore name underscore twenty. save the file and execute python test dot py load the s name is load it we call suppose we can take it is a valid valid syntax instead of this one Yes, twenty years. Yes, twenty years is twenty-eight. Yes, is yes twenty years. C L S clear screen. Python S T D P Y. We got twenty-eight. It is also valid syntax. Valid syntax. Sorry, friends.
एग्जाम्पल टू सेव यू विल सी थर्ड एग्जाम्पल लाइक टू यस एज एस एज ट्वेंटी फोर विल प्रिंट स्टोर यस एज टू यस एज एक्सिक्यूट द प्रोग्राम सी एल एस पाइथॉन टेस्ट डॉट पी वाई टू सिंटैक्स एफर कॉल्ड इन वैलिड डेसिमल लिटरल डेसिमल इज वेरी 25 suppose contain yes to is or instead of taking like yes to name name is kiran kirana sam pranith sam pranith Chudar P Y. We got this one and this one, but we it is a invalid. It is a invalid syntax. It is a valid, valid, valid. Third rule: There is a no no limit in the identifier name. Fire name identifier name, but recommended to. Take mandate to take less very less identifier length. Suppose I'm going to directly program only. Suppose we can take some age 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 age. age, age. Is like this and twenty nine. Suppose we are going to print that name. Is is print this one. Try to execute this one. It will give output. But it is not comfortable or not readable. Is 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 what is this one? This is not readable. If you suppose take this less uh, less variable name or less variable length name, it is somewhat readable, comfortable to read and somewhat readable. But in in future we are going to in future if you go to the you know testing or uh, testing phase or development uh, phase in that in that areas, this is difficult to read and difficult to use this uh, heavy length or. Uh, More more length uh, variables, more length identifiers. Recommended to give that uh, minimum or uh, mi minimum length uh, variable names. Suppose we can take like this. Yes. CLS Python test dot py. 
just don't you know, need to give it. Think that name also. Name, 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 name. Shiva. Execute this program. Python. Tested at V Y. We got the 29 and Shiva. But it is not recommended. It is recommended. Both, both one is reserved words are keywords. Keywords should not be should not be used in identifier names. The identifiers identifiers name. Suppose we can take student name, student underscore name equal to some Mohan Han Kumar. It is a proper name, but if you take some keywords like if, else, are there, if, uh, elif, if you suppose you, you can take if equal to Low hit. It is a not proper syntax. It is not valid also. It is a valid. I will execute and show that some reserve keywords and reserve words are there. Suppose take yes underscore name equal to Shiva. Uh, suppose if you take else equal to else equal to some statement like Python is very easy. I am giving print yes name and s underscore name and print yes yes python test dot py syntax we got the syntax circle like this if you want to take this one also I'm saving this example afterwards I will tell another example <laughs> syntax error if you take the reserve true is there so true equal to python is Python is very easy and simple. Simple. If you want to print true, CLS test dot py true. True is a way. very easy and programming language. But syntax error we got. True is it cannot assign to true. Here true is a reserved word. We cannot use the reserved word as an identifier names. Sorry. 
example number two. This one, that is the example number one. Not valid. This is the example number one. I think one more point is there. Fifth one is Python identifiers. Identifiers is the case sensitive programming language. Example is I'm going to directly go to the example. If you suppose you can take if you suppose you can take name equal to some Mohan. You can take some name equal to some some Pavan. Try to print this one. Capital name and small name. CLS Python test dot py. We got Mohan and Pavan different. This name and this name is different. By seeing this name and this name and both are old, but this is a capital. First one is capital name, capital N. This so one is a small n. Case sensitive means alphabets, uh, alphabets uppercase and lowercase is different in uh, Python, Python identifiers. It is a Mohan giving, it giving Pavan. Pavan. That's all friends, thank you.